Good evening from Kolkata, India. So in this video, I will be bringing you along on the journey to getting to country number 95. And uh, it's quite a uh, unique country and um, yeah, it's not the easiest place to get to. Um, but the first step in this journey is to pack my bag and pack up from this hotel. Um, so yeah, I will start packing and then bright and early tomorrow morning we will head to the airport. So let's start packing. So actually <laughs> where I'm going is uh, a bit colder climate. <laughs> Uh, and I was not prepared for that. So yesterday I went to Decathlon to get some winter stuff. So hopefully I will stay warm <laughs> during this trip. So I got like a, a winter jacket. Hopefully this will be thick enough for uh, <laughs> the cold. Um, I got some socks, hat, gloves, and like a woolly heat tech uh, jumper. And then I got a, a scarf uh, from the market yesterday. So. Hopefully this will keep me warm for the coming days in the cold. So I have now made it to the airport. We're all checked in and I'm by the gate ready to head to country number 95. And yes, we're heading to the only carbon uh, neutral country in the world. Uh, so that kind of gives you a little hint of where we're heading. And today also something happened that has only happened to me once before. Uh, I got upgraded from economy to business class. Uh, and uh, yeah, that has only happened once before when I traveled from Belarus to uh, Ukraine, I believe. It was also a super small plane, local airline. So it didn't make such a difference. And I'm guessing that it will be kind of the same situation here as well. Um, but yes, and I also was able to get a seat on the left side. So we will be able to see the Himalayas hopefully uh, while flying past so yes um, but let's head to the town Bhutan. So actually I was very nervous for this flight because Pyro Airport is renowned for being one of the most dangerous airports to land on and there's only eight pilots that are qualified to land here but it was truly an amazing landing you know going through all of the mountains and doing a you know sharp turn to come into land here and the airport looks beautiful so so excited Nice to meet you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> thank you. So, I have now met up with the tour guide and the driver and we've already stopped off at the first spot here uh, one of the 15th century bridges uh, which you can see on the side there which is the old one and then we're walking over the new one and already I feel the peace, calm and harmony of Bhutan and uh, yeah so beautiful nature, high mountains, traditional buildings and so far I really really like it.
after about a little over an hour's drive, we have now made it to the capital city of Bataan, Timpu. And uh, yeah, thinking that it's a capital city, it is very small and not a lot of people, no traffic. Um, so that's quite refreshing. And also um, when kind of observing from the car, um, most of the houses are kind of in the same traditional style, even the new ones. And um, a lot of people are wearing the traditional clothes. Um, the men wear kind of uh, these short skirts and the women wear these longer skirts. And uh, yeah, it's <laughs> really um, quite surreal right now that I'm actually here. It's been a place which has been on my list for a long time. So yeah. Uh, really looking forward to what these next few days will bring and uh, yeah we're heading down to dinner soon and uh, yeah it will be the first meal in Bhutan so let's see what we get and uh, then tomorrow we have a full day exploring Timpu we have a lot of things on the agenda uh, so of course I will bring you along for that too but yeah let's head to dinner So before dinner I, I decided to step outside and kind of wander the streets of Timpu and I have made it to kind of the center point or main square of the city uh, where you can find the clock tower which is kind of one of the <laughs> markings of Timpu and uh, yeah seems like a place where people will gather at night and so on and uh, yeah the sun is now setting but soon we'll head back uh, to dinner.